Today, I'm gonna to talk about moving with your chickens. I have moved several times as an adult with all my animals. And I must say that chickens are kind of the trickiest animal to move to a new location. Dogs, they'll just kind of follow you along. You know, there's like no problem. They're kind of happy to go wherever you go. Even a cat, you know, they're pretty much, they'll go right with the family. They're attached to you and they'll move right with you. Things like my tortoise, of course, she has her container. She'll just come along where you put her. But those chickens, they are the tricky ones because they like to get out and about and they like their privacy. They just need so many things. They're like picky with little queens and you get them so spoiled and set so perfectly to lay their eggs. And then to uproot all that and move it to a new location can be very tricky, but it can be done. And I'm gonna give you a few pointers today. Step one is in planning and I'm gonna explain why. What you have to do is try to match your new place with your old place. And what I mean by that is the chickens always lived next to Neil, the little pig. They were neighbors. So when I moved to my new place, I wanted to land with my chickens next to Neil. What that does is give the chickens just a familiar vibe when they land. So they're not just like, whoa, like everything's new. Putting them next to their neighbor that they're familiar with is a good start because then when they land, they're not like, whoa, where am I? They have their little neighbor that they're used to already. So they just look over there and they're like, oh, there you are. And that's something familiar to them and it gives them comfort. And that is a great start. And when you're moving them for them to just get used to the new location. Also, the little buddy feels the same way. Like even though Neil isn't as picky or is difficult to move it also gives him comfort as well because he already knows the chickens he's been next to them so they're all like their little animal family so when they're all next to each other at the new place it's almost like oh yay we all moved together so they seem very happy and that is the best way to do it Another thing that really works for me is having my horses and specifically my donkey and my mule next to my chickens and my pig. They are great deterrents from anything coming around here. I have already had a pack of coyotes that normally cut through this property. I was told by a neighbor that has been doing it for decades, this pack of coyotes. And since we moved here with the mule and the donkey, the pack of coyotes stops in the back of the property and then circles around and then goes their normal path, which is on you know about another mile away and which is so funny to me that they do not step foot on this property any longer because of my donkey and my mule which you know that coyote that pack of coyotes would definitely be interested in my chickens and my little pot belly pig obviously it takes time to build a big chicken coop with a hen house and a big run that takes you know time effort and when you're just moving and getting settled usually that's not at the top of your priority list i always say get the house settled first for the people and the family and then of course you start with the animals next as quick as you can because we all love our animals <laughs> so that is at the top of the priority it's just not number one so the next thing is how you are, are going to move your animal your chicken specifically so what i like to do is to move them i like to move them in like a large dog crate they get you can fit quite a few in there for the move they're safe in there you know it kind of blocks what they can see and yet there's plenty of ventilation and everything and then what we do is we always have a couple flip coops we love these flip coops we've had them over for over 10 years they're just the perfect size it gives the chickens plenty of room and then for temporary um, situation for us they can live in there just fine um, normally the coop would be for two 
or three small chickens to live in there full time. But temporarily, you can keep, you know, three chickens in there at a time or maybe a little bit larger breed in there for a while until you can build a coop. You know, obviously it's gonna be a little more work to keep it clean and just keep everything very healthy and clean in there for them, but it is doable. So that works really well, but you're gonna have to definitely have some kind of a movable temporary coop that's pretty big like our flip coop. And we do have plans that you can build this yourself. It's very easy to build. And Scott will put the link below. So if you're interested in that, just to have is your, you know, coop in your house, if in case you have a sick chicken, you need to put it in quarantine or whatever, or you're planning a move and you're gonna need something like this, you can just get the plans and build it. So the link will be there, Scott will put it there. And so we have two because we like to keep quite a few chickens. And so we need to, to come in handy for us. And as you can see, Neil <laughs> is so cute and so happy to be right here next to the chickens. It's, you wouldn't think they're like t really friends, but they're kind of like neighbors. They're happy neighbors. They're pleasant neighbors. And it's so cute how they all know each other like that. And they'll lay next to each other with um, comfort and happiness. If you'd like to learn more about chickens, I wrote this handy little book to teach you how to take good care of them. The link is in the description below. See you next time. Happy homesteading. Bye-bye.